Hello, my name is Maria Miller. In this video I want to teach you how to use mental math to find a percent of a number. And the reason I want to teach students to do this with mental math is because it teaches them the concept of percent and just kind of cements it in their minds much better than just jumping first to the calculator or, or just using some formulas. The two basic guidelines we need to keep in mind are here. 100% means all of it. And 1% of something means 100th part of it. And these are, especially the 1% one, is the main thing we use here. So, if we want to find 1% of 300, it just means 100th part of it. So we divide by 100. 300 divided by 100 is 3. 3 kilograms here. If we find 1% of this number, 41.2, we need to divide it by 100. And to do that, we need to remember that it has to do, there's a trick, you move the decimal point. You move the decimal point two steps because we're dividing by 100. Either this way or this way. Which way? Okay, if I move it this way, I would get 412. A bigger number. That's definitely the wrong way. So let's move it this way, two steps, right in front of four, right? So the answer is like that, 0 0.4112. To find 2% of something, we'll first find 1% of it and then double that. So first find 1% of $7, okay. Uh, again, let's put the decimal point here so we can move it. And to find 1% of this, move the decimal point two steps. You're dividing by 100. So it moves not this way, but this way. Uh, in front of 7 and then another step. So 1% of this would be 7 cents. And 2% of it would be double that, or 14 cents. Okay. Now, 10% of something, there's a shortcut for this too, you can divide by 10. 10% 10 of 83 meters, divide by 10, and to divide by 10, again, we are going to move the decimal point, which is here, right, 83.0. So the decimal point moves this way to 8.3 meters. 20% of 8. Okay, we'll first find 10% and then double that. That same trick will work for finding 30%, 40%, 70%, any of those. First find 10% of 8, dividing by 10. If we divide this by 10, okay, think of it as here being a decimal point. It moves here, so you get 0.8. That's the 10%, okay. 0.8, it's 10% of it, but double that is 1.6. And lastly here, 25% of a number. Now, 25 goes evenly to 100. We have 25, 25, 25, 25, making 100. So it's a fourth part of 100%. So this is the same as finding one fourth. One fourth of it. So we can just take this number and divide by 4 and get 300. Similarly, for 75%, you could use this. You could t first find 25% of it and then multiply that by 3 to get 75%. Now, these last two examples here, normally, I would use maybe a calculator or a multiply on paper to find the answers. But here I want to show you how we can use this mental math mostly to solve them. Again, for the purpose of, of making students more familiar with the concept of percent, so that they don't ever forget what it actually means. Find 13% of 7,300. We'll do this in parts. We'll first find 10% of it, and then the 1% of it, and then 3% of it, and then add. 10% of it is we divide this number by 10, and we get 730. Then we'll find 1% of it. You can take this number, divide by 10 again, get 73, and then 3%. Take this number times 3, the 70 and 3. 
Now 70 times 3 is 210. And 3 times 3 is 9. Okay. And then we add this and this number, okay? To get 13%, you have the 10 and 3%. Add these two numbers. So we get uh, 7 plus 2 is 9, or 9, okay? I didn't add this here, okay? 9 and 49 is our final answer. Similarly here, find 32% of 52 kilograms. We'll start with the 10% of it. Divide this number by 10, there's a decimal point here, move it here, 5.2 kilograms and then 30% of it we have to take this number times 3 5 times 3 and then 0.2 times 3 that was easy then 2% well we'll take 1% first and you can go to this number move the decimal point two steps right in front of 5 okay and then 2% is double that. And now lastly, we will add, uh, it's 32 here, so we need to add this one and this one, right? 15.6 and 1.04. And we get 15 and 1 is 16.64 kilograms okay yeah need to always remember if it has a unit 16.64 kilograms